So this brings us to the rotate tool. We're going to start off by taking a look at the interface down here in the lower left hand corner. I haven't covered this yet. That's referred to as the compass. This allows you to see at a glance your orientation in the 3D view. And also if you go to 2D view, you can see your orientation as well, although it's limited to two axes, obviously in two dimensions. So we'll go back to 3D. Blue is the Z axis up and down, basically. Green is the Y axis and red is the X axis. So those colors will come into play when we're using the rotate tool and I'll show you in a second. I do want to point out out here I've made a brush out of two pieces just to make it a little easier to see when we're rotating this texture here so it, it is two pieces I've made a group we're gonna cover grouping later but just know yes it looks a little different but it is considered one brush at this point so to rotate a brush we're gonna select the brush and we're gonna hit R for rotate and this widget comes up and you can see immediately you've got your Z axis you have your Y axis and you have your x-axis, which is red. If you wanna spin something around on the z-axis, you look for blue and you grab it and left click and drag and you're spinning it now along the z-axis. Same with y. Same with x. One thing you can do is grab this handle here and drag the origin of the rotation. So let's say we needed it over here, even over here, we wanna rotate over here, but let's, let's start with this corner here. We'll take Z and we'll start rotating it around that axis point. So if you wanna reset that, up here is a reset button, click that and it'll return to the center and that's the default, the center of a brush, or in this case, the center of a group. Now you can type in manual coordinates up here you can also rotate a selection by a set number of degrees. Let's say you did some math and you needed to do something by nine degrees around the Y or X, let's say X, you could do that. So you have a lot of control. Now there are keyboard shortcuts. You don't need to use the rotate tool, but this is, gives you a heck of a lot more control and precision when you're making rotations. So now let's move on to the shortcuts. The keyboard shortcut to rotate around the Z axis is Alt and arrow left or right. I'm kind of going 90 degrees at a time and you are limited to 90 degrees when you use the shortcut keys. So keep that in mind. Now Alt and up and down arrows will rotate around the Y axis. Now we're out of arrow keys. So to rotate around the X axis, you're using Alt and page up and down. I just want to point something out. We're at a grid 32. I'm going to make this a lot higher so you can see this more exaggerated. When you use the keyboard shortcuts to rotate on the X or Y, the selection is going to shift its position each time you hit it. So if I hold down Alt and hit page up a few times, it's going to kind of spin out of view. <laughs> what happened? Where'd it go? So what's happened is it's moving 128 units. It's also doing that on the X axis. So let's undo that and we'll lower our grid back down to say eight. So if you notice you're using the keyboard commands and things seem to shift a little bit, just remember that on the X and Y axis, you are moving relative to where your position was before. So if there's a grid difference, it's gonna kind of slide around a little bit. So now if you have an entity along with your brush, you can rotate them at the same time. So we're gonna use the keyboard shortcuts, Alt and left arrow to kind of pivot this guy around. And you can see that the armor is gonna stay in correct orientation on the brush. Same thing if you use the actual widget, the actual tool, it's gonna stay in relation exactly the way it needs to. And of course you can select all kinds of entities all at once and rotate them using either the keyboard shortcuts or the widgets. So that's it for the rotate tool. It's a really powerful, but still simple and easy to use tool. In fact, if you needed to move everything in your level, I should show you that too. You select everything. There's some doodads over here. Now I'm going to hit the, I'm going to hit the rotate tool and the origin is over here. And you can kind of rotate your level from any point. Let's say you needed to line it up with some other geometry. Ordinarily, we're locked to the X and Y axes, but if you need to move this origin down, you just hold down Alt. I'm gonna rotate the whole enchilada by 90 degrees. And there you go. Thanks for hanging in there, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.